today's gospel reminds me of an ancient Indian proverb that I came across some years ago. It said, whatever you are overflowing with will spill out when you are bumped. Here is a picture I thought described it well. Hi, this is Nini Casas. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel for today is taken from Luke chapter 6, verses 43 to 49. Jesus said, no good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from briars. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. In other words, it is the good tree that bears good fruit. First, the tree is good, then it bears good fruit. Jesus continues, a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. So whatever man does, whatever he says, is the fruit of his heart. When his heart is full of love, he does good works because of the goodness in his heart. He searches scriptures, he's nourished by it, and he lives according to the faith that he professes. But when a man's mind and heart is worldly and corrupt, such is his life too, a chase after fame, fortune, and pleasure. American Heritage Dictionary defines heart as the repository of one's deepest and sincerest beliefs and feelings. It is the central, most essential, and innermost part of something our entire being for that matter. Proverbs 4.23 says, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. I love that verse. When I came across this scripture verse, I made it my only New Year's resolution for an entire year. I realized it was so important to guard our hearts, everything flows from it. I think it can even be a lifetime resolution for all of us. The second part of today's gospel reads, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? As for everyone who comes to me and hears my word and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on the rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house, but could not shake it because it was real, well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. I wondered why the continuation of the gospel was about the importance of the firm foundation of a house. When earlier it was talking about good fruit and bad fruit, and I realized that they had a connection. Our fruitfulness depends upon our rootedness in Christ. He is our firm foundation. He is our master, our ruler, our Lord. We hear his word, we store it in our hearts, and we reflect it in our lives. My brothers and sisters from Isaiah 37, 31, take root downward and you will bear fruit upward. If you've been blessed by this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Pathways of Hope. Again, this is Nini Casas. Thank you and God bless your day.